Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, members of the committee, for having me here today. My name is Madeline Cook. I'm 24 years old. I was born and raised here in Minnesota. Um, I'm a self-identifying Republican, and I'm straight. I'm here today because I'd like to give you my perspective and the perspective of most people I know who are a part of my generation, political party, and sexual orientation on why adding a constitutional amendment that would ban same-sex marriage is not only wrong on a moral front, but also takes our party in the wrong direction for future generations of Republicans. You'd think that as a Republican, I'd be on the other side of this issue. But I'm here today because I don't believe that equal rights for same-sex couples or anyone is a partisan issue. In fact, I'm not in this chair today because of a relationship I've had with a gay brother, sister, friend, or relative. To be honest, before I became a part of this movement three years ago, I didn't even have a gay friend. Instead, I'm driven by something else, an ideology, one encouraged by my peers, that tells me that this is not the direction our state or our nation should be headed. In fact, amongst my generation, there's no doubt that equal rights for all Minnesotans is absolutely necessary for the good of our state. In other words, it should not be the focus of efforts to achieve political gain or debate. The need for equality and the full acceptance of GLBT people is something Minnesota's next generation of leaders has already embraced. Public opinion is moving quickly towards full equality and passage of this bill would lead us astray. Never before has our Constitution sought to treat people unequally. This constitutional amendment will not only set our fight for equality back in time, it will set an agenda that will distract us from the investments in Minnesota that truly matter. So, as a young person who hopes to live here the rest of my life, I ask you to vote no on these policies that will enforce inequality and provide my generation yet another reason to doubt the political process. As a Republican, I ask you not to pass this piece of legislation that will lead future generations of Republicans away from getting Minnesota's priorities back in order and force us to spend valuable time later undoing the mistakes made here today. And finally, as a straight person not driven by anything but ideology, I'd ask that you not let me down as my representatives by putting your own personal beliefs and benefits in the way of equality. Please vote no on these bills. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Cook. Next testifier that I have is Bishop 